Good morning, I am Faye, welcome to my channel. I am about to go have breakfast with my friends, two of them, Lauren and Eunice. Lauren is American and Eunice is Korean American. Lauren speak Korean, I speak Korean, and Eunice of course is Korean. So we love chatting in English, Korean, and back and forth. So we will be having American breakfast in a gentrified space here in Marion. It's a new restaurant, I think it's called Morning Star. So it has super, super good review online. So we said we gotta check it out. So I decided to do a little bit of review review about the restaurant because we don't have a lot of breakfast restaurants here and they have terrible reviews and the food is not always good so if it's good i will let you know so if you're in marion you can check it out i better get in my car and go i'll check back with you when i get there this is lauren <laughs> Look at that. Oh. So we'll share. If you agree to be in my vlog, you can be. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I think it's like tie and gun type of deal. Just please do. Blueberry name. No much Mmm. so. Thank you. Baja. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't have to tell you guys. Yes. Are you so The yumminess is out of this world. Uh, one, of, one of the things that people get kind of uh, surprised mm. when they come to Korea and have a you know, food together with Koreans. For instance, you know, when they go to Burger King, they dump all the French fries together. So when you order yours, then you just yours, right? They only crumb up. So when you go to, you know, like a restaurant or the food place, then we order all different ones. So everybody gets a taste of everything. So we all together. When you go to, a, you know, we go places, then they always ask, you, what are you eating? You want to try some? <laughs> the so when I order spicy one, then I order something blend one. When I order something non non uh, soup based, then the other person will order some soup based. Exactly. So we have everything. Yeah. When I went to high school, mm -hmm. I have a two or three other you know people who like to have you know lunch together. Mm -hmm. Then someone just bring the rice. Someone brings the you know like meat. Mm -hmm. Someone brings the uh, just you know other side dishes. Exactly. Or we share. Kind of, I have a one or two side dishes, or the other. Then we will have like five, six different side dishes. Small party. <laughs> yeah. American culture is not like that, but Haitian yeah. culture does the same thing. Mm. And it's quite surprising when I um, people came and I like put my spoon in the soup and they look at me like. <laughs> <laughs> Your gems, we don't yeah. want that. My husband really hate it. <laughs> Just get used to it now. Oh. Used to it now. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it doesn't mean that he enjoyed it. No. <laughs> it's not an American thing. My mom usually will be like, okay, if you want my food, you can't use my fork. You can't touch this. Let me just... <laughs> Germs. Is it me? Oh, blueberry is super, super sweet. I haven't ever had blueberries that sweet before. Yeah. Really? Do know I didn't know about this place? I'm coming here. There's so many places recently. I've been trying to go with my friends. We've been trying new places. There's a lot of stuff. I didn't know. Downtown, there's several cafes. Mm. By Nubo. We need to go again. Eggs is yummy. Mm. I'll try it. Mm. Okay, over here. Really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. This is better than all the two I ever have because they are not that creamy and they are often often served on rye bread. So this is good. <laughs> okay. I prefer boiled eggs. That sunny side up. Boiled egg. Put it into a boiling water for 11 minutes. That's the best. So it's like tough eggs, so it's not completely cooked. Right. We have to cook with her. Baja! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna come home and my mom's gonna think I'm crazy. <laughs> she eats the scrambled eggs, just the scrambled eggs. She'll put some milk, but just the egg itself. I put seasoning on it, she just eats it. 
Mm. A little bit of milk, eggs, a little bit of pancake batter, oh. a little bit of like um, green onion. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. And I learned that oh, she owns the restaurant because of that. One day, we will have to explore if there's any place that we can buy the eggs from the farm. Baja. Oh, you know, and good. And Marion. Have you ever had egg that freshly just come out from the, uh, the chicken? I used to live on a farm with chicken, so maybe I don't know. May not remember. It's really, really good. I mean, really, really good. In my culture, when you wanna uh, put an emphasis on something, you say twice. So really, really good. Even when we like people, we usually take the first two syllables of your name and we repeat it twice. I got lost myself when I was coming. Thank you. So this is why I had my breakfast with my friend. It was super, super yummy. a wonderful time with my friends so what i like about hanging out with them is because we switch language we go back and forth between language and it's so much fun for a polyglot because you do not have to keep at one language to know what the other person is saying so people kind of look at us like okay what are you guys talking about and we don't have to explain because I know what she's saying and then she knows what she's saying and it's so much fun like when you gossip in different language and whatnot this is the very first time that I went to this restaurant and i never been there Eunice is the one who find it today so therefore I find it was like super tasty and the decoration was really really good and then service was amazing so I gave the lady a 20% tip so she deserved it she really took care of us yeah, she checked on us my gosh I had a really good meal and a really, really good time so if you're in marion i think you should check it out it is worth your time if you have friends they have space and service is amazing food is more amazing so it's worth it in any case i hope you like my little vlog until next time goodbye